everyone, this is Boricua Banks, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. In the last episode, we were still in the trial, we were questioning Olga O'Reilly, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And of course, with me again is my friend Pharaoh. Say hello. Hello there, everybody. All right, so uh, let's continue on. We still got uh, a lot of questions, but we have the good old uh, objection music playing, so that's awesome. Yes, and wait till you hear Pursuit music. It's pretty it's nice. Yes. <clears throat> order! Order! It appears our defendant has lost his motive. And Mr. Wright's supposed to defeat never happened. <laughs> we must now ask ourselves whether we okay didn't finish. Oh, rude. Oh. Uh, excuse me? What is it, Miss O'Reilly? I... I did not want to be saying this, but... Actually, you see, um... See what, Miss O'Reilly? What did we see? In the last hand, there was cheat. Ooh. Oh, a cheat? You, you don't mean a trick? Wait, do you mean a scam? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Is this like a freaking, um, oh, what's that word for that book? Not dictionary. <sighs> the source? Yes, thank you. I couldn't remember the word. <laughs> They're all the same thing, darn it. <laughs> yes, there was cheat in last hand. That is why game ends with chips as they are. Great, just great. First we have lying, now cheating. What is this, a marriage? Uh... <laughs> no, no, you're, you're alright, you're, you're fine there, because, I mean, it's an unfortunately common thing. It's... Yeah. Blah. Unfortunately. Well, this case certainly has taken a turn for the interesting. Oh, you like uh, cheating spouses, Kristoff? Uh, now my headcanon is that he likes watching, uh, <laughs> like, one of those, um, one of those mystery 48 hours shows or whatever. Wait. Uh, oh, wait, how, how does that correlate? between the two. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I'm getting it. Oh, um, the, the people, like, one of the most popular things for people to watch in America, apparently, are those, like, 48 hours investigative TV shows where they, like, watching, um, about cheating spouses and murder mysteries and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're like, okay, I'm thinking about the first 48, because, like, to them... I never heard I never heard them talk about like cheating. I always it was always like a homicide and they're trying to figure out what happened. Yeah, they're um, usually um a lot of them end up being about like a, a guy who kills his wife because he was cheating or whatever. But yeah, they're, oh, it's usually homicide. Okay, okay. okay no, I got you now. All right. I mean, those shows are cool. I'm I'm like, well, it's unfortunate what happens, but Yeah. Interesting to see the process that go along with it. <clears throat> Witness, you will please testify. You will please testify to the court. Tell us about this cheating in the final hand. I thought you said he will. She will please the court. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I never even thought of that. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. The final so hand. My mind is going. <laughs> the last hand. Both men had full house. I was gonna make a stupid full house reference, but I stopped myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well at this point. Well, I was just gonna say, uh, you mean with John Stamos? <laughs> uh, that show was good. Keyword, well, it was, was it, here's the thing. People always watched it, but was it really a good show? I felt like it was just there and people just watched. I don't know. I liked it. I, it. it it's weird. It's like, I, I think I enjoyed it when I was younger, but when I go back to it now, it's like, why did I watch this? And I have not seen Fuller House, and I, I don't even know if Fuller House is going to continue now, considering 
things that happened. Oh, I have no idea if it's even still on or anything. <sighs> oh, well. There is four of each card in deck, from ace to king. If you look at both men's hands, cheat is more obvious. The next moment, game becomes argument. Da! The defendant's trick was exposed. He took bottle in his hand. Poor Mr. Smith. Miss O'Reilly, why did you not tell the court about this from the very beginning? I thought I smelled a cover up here. Well, folks, it's time to throw back the covers. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Aw, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hmm. Well, full the house is a very high-scoring hand. Not easy to make, in my experience. That alone is enough to suspect less of some scrupulous tactics. Um, Mr. Gavin. What's a full house? Lawyers these days. You don't know your poker. Hey, I don't know poker either, okay? I barely know it. It's like, I... I... Even even I don't know what a full house. I something to do with all this. Nope. I still I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not even make myself even look stupid trying to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. I can't say this bodes well for your case or career. Wow. Okay. Apparently, you need to be super knowledgeable about poker to be a good lawyer. What the hell? I guess. Um... What is this? Some kind of secret court poker ring? Justice. You know the terms one pair, two pair, and a three of a pair, a three of a kind, yes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no problem. Two cards with the same number makes a pair, and three makes a three of a kind. Good. Now, picture a hand with one pair and one three of a kind. Wow. That's a full house. Okay, that is pretty hard to get then. Yeah, I did not know that's a full house. Okay, I, I thought I had to do something with the sweets. So did I. Oh, I. <laughs> <clears throat> that, oh, you know that might be a royal flush. Oh, that maybe. Yeah. I I still don't know my terms or whatever. I, I I don't play poker. Blackjack is my game, but even then I'm terrible at it. But then there's like a straight flush, and I'm like, what is that? Flushing a toilet? What? I don't know. Okay, see stuff like this. We'll probably get kicked out of a casino if we <laughs> if we smoke like this in a, in a, at a table. Yeah. These these people have no nonsense. Like some guy, this is back when I just turned twenty one. Some dude was gonna get in a fight with me because something with blackjack, and I'm like, dude, uh, just calm down. It was like, it was like a ten dollar game. Wow. Dude was about to like, you know, start crap. I'm like, okay, screw this. I'm, I don't. I, it's ten dollars, you know, mm -hmm. but gambling sometimes. It's unfortunate. Scary. Huh. So that's a full house. That doesn't sound very easy to make, does it? You can see each player's hand in this photo. Wow, they both have full houses. We forget there's an easy way to make a full house and go undefeated for seven years. You cheat. <clears throat> the defense may cross-examine the witness. If he did cheat in the last hand, that still leaves one important question. Mr. Wright lost that hand. Who's ever heard of a professional con man losing when they cheat? Good point. Yeah. Okay. Now I Let's see what we can do here. I House for G is more obvious. Game becomes argument. And his trick was exposed. Oh, in his hand. I want to take a look at their hands again. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I mean they have. Um... Yeah, because Smith would win because of the types of cards he has, right? Now, see, that's the thing. I th think, yeah, I mean, if both players have a full house, it depends on, yeah, the hierarchy of the cards made 
dictate who wins, so... I think we have to press, because I don't see anything we can object Present. on. Okay. Uh, I just don't know which statement to press. Yeah. Um... Maybe the defendant's trick was exposed? Where was this? The next moment, game becomes argument. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, we can, we can try. Okay. Press. Do you recall what the men were arguing about? Da, I believe so. The victim, he shouts, you are cheater, and then... The defendant shouts something like, I have objection! Oh, that does sound like him. <laughs> Shouting objection, eh? All the habits are hard to break. First he bluffed his way through the courtroom, now he bluffs his way through life! Objection! Dude, he whooped your ass a bunch of times in the court. Shut your ass <laughs> up! Bluffed his way. He did bluff his way, don't get me wrong. He bluffed his way quite a few times. But, he won. Through the help of spirit mediums as well, so <laughs> kind of. now I'm starting to <laughs> kind of cheatsy there, Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, Phoenix. However, Mr. Wright lost the hand. That seems to cast a shadow of doubt on Mr. Smith. Humiliation from losing even when cheating. That is what set fire to defendant's heart. So what did the flaming defendant do next? <laughs> flaming defendant. Why? <laughs> why? Oh, that could be taken so many ways. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's why I'm unfortunately I'm laughing, but it's like just a choice of words. Come on now. Okay, let's press on the statement before that. If you look at both men's hands. Okay. How was it clear? Da, well, the defendant. He played a fifth ace. Oh? A fifth ace. I still remember both hands very well. Mr. Smith's hand has three aces. And Mr. Wright's, too. Oh. Well, obviously, cheating was afoot. Or perhaps I should say. Hand. Oh my god, Pain. <laughs> Can I sense him right now? I mean... <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps this can be added to the testimony without Mr. Payne's joke. Very well. The witness will add this detail to her testimony, please. <clears throat> Mr. Smith's hand has three aces and Mr. Wright's two. It is five aces in all. Oh. Okay, oh. well, there's a uh, issue with that right off the bat. Yeah, just looking at uh, this image here, where's this other ace? Present! She said, yep, so what'd she say he has three aces and, okay, yeah, that's wrong. It appears the witness is mistaken. Miss. Taken, but my name. <laughs> okay. Oof. Look, this piece of evidence clearly contradicts what you said in your testimony, and I don't care if you're taken. But geez, Apollo, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> That's the photo of the chips, is it not? Justice, perhaps you ought to explain your points in a way that the judge can comprehend. Because he's stupid. In other words, <laughs> use your finger to point out your point. Oh, so many puns. Yes, uh, please point out the contradiction in this photo. What particular point contradicts the witness's testimony? The judge totally said it like that, too. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can point at one of the kings. Yeah, I think as long as it's somewhere on his hand, like his hand of cards, then I, I think that's it, so... Yeah. Present! <laughs> Miss O'Reilly, in your testimony, you made the following claim. Mr. Smith's hand has three aces. 
but as you can clearly see, the victim's hand only held two aces. Well, well, maybe the witness was simply confused. Perhaps it was the defendant's hand that held the third ace in question. Objection! Take another look at the evidence. As you can see, the defendant also had two aces in his hand. Where's this fifth ace? I see cheating all right, and it's going on right here in this courtroom. Oh, shoot. Two aces in each player's hand does make four aces total. I can math! <laughs> Hardly proof of cheating. Wait, please. It is true, I have seen it. The fifth ace. There was cheating, I swear to you. That's odd. She must be lying, yet she's the most sincere I've seen her all day. You're right to trust your instincts. Mr. Gavin, stop listening to my thoughts, please. No. <laughs> Who knows what lies in store for us in the trial ahead? Your Honor, if I may, I have a suggestion. Why did I speak? Well, William Chatner. <laughs> well, might that be, Mr. Gavin? If you don't mind, perhaps we might be able to examine the actual cards? The cards? Mr. Payne. Uh, yes? The player's hands that night were set aside as evidence, were they not? The defense would like to request that the cards be shown to the court. Very well, the prosecution will submit the evidence. Which will you examine? The victim's cards or the defendant's cards? If these cards don't prove cheating was going on, nothing will. Now, which of these hands is more suspicious? I think we need to look at... Hmm... I guess we're going to say the victims. All right. It was the victim's hand that changed over the course of the witness's testimony. The defense requests time to examine Mr. Smith's cards. Very well. Mr. Payne, if you could, if you would. Very well. All right. Well, time's a wasting. Get to it, justice. Yes, sir. Oh, it's doing it for us. Ah, my game's possessed! <laughs> Mia! <laughs> I mean, I'll welcome Mia, never mind. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> when examining evidence, be sure to view it from all sides and angles. Try using the dials in the evidence viewer. That should give you a better perspective of the case. Okay, let's do this. And turn them over and oh, what's this? Hey, hey. That, that's not. I shouldn't be there. <laughs> what? Your Honor, look at this. One of the victim's cards. The back is a different color. Eh? Eh? Nani? <laughs> that's impossible. But I put that card in Mr. Wright's hand. Ah! Uh oh. Flip of the uh -oh. tongue. Ah! Gets them every yes. time. Exactly. What was that, Mr. Really? No, yet. Er, I merely said, uh, da, I have eek! <laughs> Girl, please. Uh, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Gavin, yes? Uh, tell me. What is the easiest way to cheat at poker? To... Uh, cheat? I'll tell you. One merely needs a friend. A, a comrade, shall we say. Ooh, nice one. The dealer. Ah. Oh, oh! Wait, so you mean... This witness, Miss O'Reilly. She's the cheater. A professional, I wager. Pretty good reflexes, though. True. Order! Order! Focus, Justice. Time to take advantage of her. I mean, of her mistake. <laughs> Apollo, please. Every, Apollo, I know he said press harder on her, <laughs> but stop it. <laughs> now. 
Apollo, don't make me jealous, boy. Jealous? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just I'm just sitting here like how do, how do I do I don't know. I can't talk. <laughs> uh next thing you know, Pharaoh's gonna be like, uh, should I leave you and Apollo alone, Banks? <laughs> I mean like wait, you need some time alone. <laughs> Whatever. I mean Be like, ah, if only, if only. But he's not real. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be creepy if there was a person exactly like the characters we see in games? True. I mean, with that hairstyle, <laughs> I'd be like, dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> to Japan we go! <laughs> Your Honor, please recall the testimony we just heard. Uh, just, you know, ignoring what I said after that. Okay, we literally just heard that earlier, but okay. Yeah, that's that's something I always uh, get a little iffy on in Ace Attorney's games. I understand that maybe you haven't played it in a little while, and then you know you go back to it. And this is why it's needed. But if it's only been a few minutes ago, then eh. <laughs> Ergo, Miss Olga O'Reilly conspired to cheat, not with my client. <laughs> With the victim, Mr. Shady Smith. Oh yeah, breakdown time. Uh, well, here's the this pursuit theme is awesome. One of the best ones since the first game. Yeah. Oh man, my game's stuttering. Why does it keep doing that? Eh. Uh, should pass by in a second. Ooh. Okay, I said that weird. <laughs> okay. I was like, hey, I think she's a little. <laughs> Too All into right. it. She's into the beat, okay? <laughs> that, exactly, yeah. Not only did she cheat, she cheated poorly. Therefore, it's not hard to imagine an altercation between her and the victim. What? Wait, you don't mean the defense isn't accusing a witness, Miss Olga O'Reilly? Are you? Time for justice. Okay. There were three people in the room at the time of the incident. And if Mr. Wright isn't guilty, that means... I am. The defense accuses the witness, Miss Olga O'Reilly, of murder. <coughs> oh, didn't catch it this time. Yeah, but it landed perfectly regardless, so she's okay. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Payne? Where's your witness, Miss Ogle O'Reilly? It, it appears she's lost the consciousness, Your Honor. Mr. Justice. Your Honor. It seems you have presented a new possibility to the court. One suggesting a connection between a witness and a victim, Mr. Smith. And that means? This court cannot pronounce a verdict for the defendant at this time. <laughs> what? I did it. I held out. I see no point in prolonging a child this day. The prosecution will need to make further inquiries. Objection! Huh? That? Uh... Familiar voice? Right. But Mr. Wright. You can't end the trial here, Your Honor. Not yet. What nonsense is the defendant spewing now? Think. One of the cards had a different colored back. And don't you wonder what it means? What, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? You raise the objections right when you're about to get off the hook? Ridiculous! Mr. Payne, you of all people should know. Mr. Wright has a talent. What a ridiculous! <laughs> Good one. We talked to a damn parrot for Christ's sake. <laughs> Perhaps we should get to the bottom of things. Let's clear up the facts about the game, that fateful night. As was said before, we alternated between two decks of cards that night. That was said before! The two decks of the club had different colored backs, blue and red. One color per deck. Why well, use different colored backs? If we use the same color, the two decks might get mixed. Um, you use different colors, and they still got mixed up. We used the red deck for the last game. 
Oh, that's me. Hmm. I see. But well, that's odd. Actually, um, Olga's gone, so I can get I can do the judge again. Oh, okay. For some reason, I have this impression that you are using the blue cards. Yeah, me too. I'm sure someone said something about blue cards. Uh, whatever. In the end, one card of the wrong color got into the mix. Which means there was cheating. Yes, a card slipped into the deck would seem to indicate cheating. Yet, this card raises two serious questions. Apollo? Yes? Let's consider the first question, shall we? Think. In the last game, when was a card swapped? When? I'm surprised how they're just letting him take charge, but okay. <laughs> I, this might be more out of respect. Well, not even then. This is not how things work, but it's a video game, and it's like, just let it go. <laughs> there are three broad possibilities here. It could have been swapped before a murder, during a murder, or after murder. Well, yeah! Thanks for the news bulletin, Mr. Wright! <laughs> of course it was swap. Oh? It might be as simple as you think, Mr. Payne. Or it might not be. <laughs> I'd like to hear what Apollo thinks first. When you, when you think of the cards, when do you think the cards are swapped? When was the card swapped into the deck? I'm gonna say... After the murder. Okay. Perhaps it happened after the murder? <laughs> What's that? That's ridiculous! What's the point of cheating after the hands have been shown? That's silly! Objection! Yes, but tell me. How do you swap cards during the game? I'll take silly over impossible. <laughs> take it from me, son! There's a lot of silly in this world, but very little impossible. Oh? Even when the backs of the cards are a different color? Don't call me son. If you pulled that during the game, you'd be caught in no time. Oh! Quite true. That would mean that the blue card in question was swapped after the hands were shown. After the murder. Okay, this is going past silly, straight on to crazy. I ask again, what's the damn point of cheating after the game's over? That was me ad living. <laughs> Who would do that? I ad lib all the time. Who indeed? That's one of the, mis the mysteries before us. There's another. Yes, a simple yet decisive question must be asked. Who swapped the red card for a blue card? Who? The game and murder is done. The victim is dead. Only two remain in the room. Alive, that is. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and our witness, Olga O'Reilly. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for a blue? Now, you gotta think about this, guys. Phoenix and Olga both know they were using red cards, so why would they do that? They wouldn't. Very true. So it's someone else. The one who swapped the cards wasn't Mr. Wright, of course. And, well, it doesn't seem like it could have been Olga or really either. What are you suggesting? That's hardly a logical conclusion, I'll admit. As a defense, I think it only makes sense for you to name Miss O'Reilly at this point. Yes, yes, I know. But... But she was the one who dealt the cards, right? I... I just can't believe she would make the mistake of swapping the wrong color card. And if the card was swapped during the game, it'd be obvious. <laughs> Ooh. Something you'd like to share with the court, Mr. Wright. <laughs> oh, no, my apologies, Your Honor. I'm just thinking how much fun all this is. <laughs> fun? How about confusing? I've no idea what the defense is claiming, Your Honor. 
If the one who swapped the card wasn't the defendant, then it wasn't so really. Then who was it? Uh, yeah, well, that is the question, isn't it? Precisely. Huh? I believe we're about to see this case take... a new direction. Oh? A new direction. We'll find that indeed, after the murder, someone swapped one of the cards in the victim's hand. And that someone made two critical mistakes. I'm sure you want to tell us that the first was swapping the wrong color card. Uh, because the one who did the swap didn't know two colors of cards were being used. The other mistake was the number on the card. Oh? Right. The person replaced the fifth ace with the king. I'm sure whoever swapped it wasn't expecting there to be a fifth ace after all. All they knew was that the game had been won with a full house. So they picked up a king from the table and swapped it in. But there's one problem. According to our case record, this person doesn't even exist. True. Not until now. But you have to admit the possibility of a fourth person. Though it's more than a possibility. There was someone else there that night at the scene of the crime. Ooh, juicy. W what? <laughs> I believe the judge spoke truthfully earlier. You do make trials. Ridiculous, Mr. Wright. This trial has proceeded on one central assumption. Namely, that at the time of the incident, there were only three people in that room. I believe this new evidence, shall we say, overturns that assumption? Uh, I was about to make a joke and then I forgot it. Oh well. <laughs> oh, that happens. Oh, I think I was gonna say overturns, turnabout, uh ha ha. Ah. The problem is that you chose to conceal this information from the court. I suppose that is a problem, yes. Court is adjourned for a brief recess. Mr. Gavin, I'll see you in my chambers during this recess. Certainly, Your Honor. Very well. The trial will resume in 20 minutes. Okay. Well, I wanted to go to a to be continued, but I think we'll just have to leave it right here. Alrighty. All right. No Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time, have a nice day. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already! And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes! You can follow me on Twitch where I stream every week, and also follow me on Twitter for updates! Until next time, have a nice day! Adios!